Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a different type of video. I'm actually going to be putting together ephemera packs for my shop. As you probably know, I've been into junk journaling recently and that's how I got into ephemera. So over the last couple of weeks, or it's more like a couple of months probably now, I've been gathering stuff from antique stores and off Etsy that I think would make a great ephemera for my junk journal. I have way more than I can ever possibly use on my own, so I'm going to put together some bundles to sell in my shop. I'm going to do two on camera because that's really all I can fit. So I have these two big cellos and all the ephemera I've gathered over here on the side. So let's go ahead and get started putting together some packs. Okay, I think I'm going to make these 50 piece packs. So I want to start with some sheet music that I have here. I have some different types. So these ones are from a 1947 magazine, um, Etude, I believe is the name of it. And these are from a different book of sheet music. I don't recall the date on it, but they're very old. These ones I love because they have that beautiful discoloration on the edge of the pages, like a patina almost. So I think I'm going to put one sheet of each type in here. And this one's really cool because... It has text on the back, so you can use it either as the sheet music page or the magazine page. So for the other page, I don't know which sheet I like best. As you can see, I have a ton of these. Maybe this one. Yeah, I think I'll put those two in there. And then I'll take a sheet from this stack here. Oh, this one's really fun. I like the way that one looks that here. You can see how different the page colors are. And then over here, maybe we'll do this one. Yeah, I think that's good. So we'll start off with the sheet music. That's two pieces of ephemera so far. I'm going to try and keep count so I don't have to recount at the end, but no promises here. Okay, next up I have some old newspaper pages and these are from various times. This one right here you can see is from 1922 and it's the whole page. There's some text, some illustrations, really nice. So I'm going to put that one there and then this one's from the same paper but it's actually the back cover of the newspaper and it has a vintage Colgate ad on it which is really cool. So I think I'll put that one here. And then, let's see. Okay, here's one from 1886. How cool is that? It's in really good condition to have been from 86. And I like this one because it has these vintage ads. Vintage ads are maybe my favorite thing about ephemera. They're just so great. I love the design. I love everything about them. So I think I'm gonna add that page there. And then this page is from the same edition, 86, and it has some more ads. Look, there's one for an ice cream freezer. How cool is that? And on the back, it has this little children's Easter egg thingy on it. Really, really cool. So that's four right there to start with. I think that's pretty good so far. Next up, I'm going to do book pages from old vintage books. I have a ton of these. So I'll probably do three or four pages. Let's do four. Okay. So here are some from Camille by Alexander Dumas, the younger, I think. So give one here and then one right there. That makes five a piece. I also have some pages from this book called David and Patience. This book I know was from 1940, and I love this one too. It's got the patina on the edges, and the paper is quite thick, and it has this, I don't know what to call the texture to it, but I think it'd be really nice to write on. Let's put one of those in there. In this book, I think some of these pages had pictures, if I remember correctly. Let me see if I can find one really fast. Yeah. See, here's a page with picture on it. I love those illustrations. So that one has two, well it has three, so right there. Let me find another picture to put in with that one. Oh, this is a whole page illustration. That's nice. Okay, I'm gonna get some more from Camille, I think. 
I like pages like this that have some empty space where you can write if you want. Okay, that makes five book pages. Over here, I'm gonna add a title page. It's got text on the back. And then, oh, this is from a different book, actually. This is from the Brandons, so it looks a little bit different. Here's another page from Camille. I'll put that right there. I think that's going to do for the book pages. Okay, we have nine items in each bundle so far. This is so fun. I'm really enjoying getting to go through all my ephemera, and I hope y'all will really like these packs. I love everything in here, and of course I wish I could use it all, but I'll just never be able to use it all, so it's much better for me to share it with everyone else. Okay, the next thing I have is a huge stack of vintage newspaper and magazine clippings, different ads and stuff. So let's just start going through these. So I have this one, it's like a little home sweet home poem. Put that right there, that makes 10. And then, let's see, I wanna kinda get some that are the same size. Here's a Wrigley's ad. Isn't that neat? I love seeing stuff that I actually know what it is and I have even used some of these brands before, so that's really cool. So that's 10. Let me see. There's a smaller ad that's for tooth powder. And this one, I'll give this cough drops ad. And we have some vintage drawings and photographs. That makes 12. Here's some more pictures. Aren't these neat? That's 13. Here's some more ads. Kellogg's. And this one is some sort of piano player's guild thingy. That's 14. Here's an ad for some nutritious malted milk and also this long ad for some children's clothes. What is that, 15 I think? So throughout looking at this old ephemera, I found what I would call an exorbitant amount of grape nuts ads. So of course I have to put some grape nuts in here. And also this neat ad for furniture polish, or paint and finish actually. Some of these are really large so they have to be folded, but I think that's okay since I doubt anyone has a junk journal that's quite this big. I think I'm going to put in one more ad or picture in each bundle. So let's see. Let's make it a good one. Okay. I've got Arnica Tooth Soap and also W.L. Douglas Shoes. All right, so there's some old ads and these are mainly neutral colored things as you've noticed because I like neutral things from my junk journal, but I do have some colorful things. So let's do some colorful add-ins now. Okay, I just counted, we're at 17 items per pack. So I'll probably do maybe six colorful thingies. Here's one. This ad is from a 1962 magazine. So that's 18. And for this one, I'm gonna put in this page from a, I'm not sure, some old journal or something. And then I have this page of quilt blocks, which is really cool. I love those patterns. And I think over here I'm going to put this fantastic ketchup ad. I just love these old ads. They're so fun. Oh, okay. So I have a bunch of these pages of flowers. 
definitely going to have to put one of these in each of these bundles because these are just absolutely gorgeous and they're two-sided, which I love. So that's three colorfuls so far. There's a blue bonnet ad and a royal puddings ad. Okay, here's one of my favorite things that I found while going through Vintage Ephemera. Look at this picture. It's just so neat. I mean, it's all green and there's so many details and the people at the party and stuff. I just love it. Definitely putting that in there. I also have this picture that I love. I would love to use this, but I just don't have a junk journal that is this theme. I don't think it would fit in my junk journal, so I want someone else to have it. Oh, this one's cool. It has a pretty neat photo on the back, too. So I need two more colorful add-ins for each bundle. Oh, this one's great. Here is a recipe for tuna pizza. Is that not... Is that not interesting? And it's also a whole newspaper page. It's got two sides and everything. I think over here I'm going to put this planter's peanut oil ad. And then what else? I have several of these calendars with Bible verse quotes. I'm going to put one in each. These are really cute. And that makes seven colorful additions to each pack. So I think I'm going to leave it there and move on to the next items. All right. So next, I think I'm going to add in some postcards and I have a bunch. So I have several of these postcard packs from different places. And then I also have individual postcards. So let's just go through them. I have this one from Utah, which has some really gorgeous scenes in it. Really, really nice. So I really like this one from the Great Salt Lake. I think I'm going to use that one. And then let's see what else we have in here. I like this one. I'm not sure how to say this mountain name. Timpanagos, maybe? But I like that one, so I think I'm going to put in a Utah postcard for each of these. And should I do desert scenes or Big Bear Lake? Maybe desert scenes next. Oh, these are pretty. I love these colors. Look at that. Yeah, definitely got to include some of these. Postcards are some of my favorite things to add to my junk journal. And these are double-sided, which is really nice. That one's gorgeous. I love the purples. And the back is nice too. So that's two of those. And then I also have one from the Poconos. I like that one. That's neat. Let's see how these are. I like the paper these are made out of. These are a thicker paper. Might have to include one or two of these. Also, these have such a great vintage vibe. I don't know, something about this font, I think, is just so great and vintagey. These are two-sided as well. This one has some pretty mountain laurel on it and also some deer. Very cute. How many postcards have I done so far? Three, okay. I think I'm gonna switch now to some of the postcards with writing and stamps because those are my favorite ones. So I have several right here and they all have writing on the back. Some of them have really neat stamps too. So let me see. Okay, this one. And then, oh, I like this one too. Let's see, maybe these two. Okay, I might do two a piece. So there's this one, which is just gorgeous. And on the back, it has this lovely handwriting. It's from the Canadian Rockies. And you can see the stamp on there. And this is from 76, so pretty old. We also have this one, which is from Greece, of course. It has some really neat stamps on there. Okay. 
here's another one with some really fun stamps. I like the color on that stamp right there. And this one I have is from Ireland. There's the front. So how many postcards is that? One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, five a piece. That brings us up to 29 items per bundle. Next, I think I wanna put in some old letters. These are another one of my favorite things to put in my own junk journal. I have a bunch, just random letters. So I'll probably put in maybe four per pack. What do y'all think? Four or five? Here's one that is written on a very odd sheet of paper and then folded up like this. I also have some in envelopes with stamps. Can y'all see that? It's from 45. This one's from 41. Pretty impressive. And then here's some on this interesting note paper with an orange header. I've got two of those. So we'll do one each. What else? Here's one that's written on some stationery. Mrs. Joseph in Pod Podrasnik. I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but it's going in here. Here's one on this really nice, very thin white paper. It has like a grocery list on the back or a packing list. I'm not sure, but either way, very cool. How many is that? One, two, three, four. Okay, one more piece. All right, I have two of these on this smaller paper. I like these. All right, so five letters a piece. Now we're up to 34 pieces per bundle. These are so great. I hope y'all love these. This is so fun putting them together. The next thing I have is old random photographs. I think I'm gonna put in probably four of these per bundle. I love these old photographs. So this one is really cool for a couple reasons. First of all, I like the curly edges, but it actually says when it's from. So that's from April of 64, which is great. I have this one of this cute baby playing in the snow. This smaller one of a graduate. This one of a lady with some children. More of these curly edges, which I really like. This one of this sort of sepia-toned plant life. I don't know, I think it's really cool. I like that one. Here's one of a building. No idea what building it is, but it's neat looking. And then... Oh, I like this one. This is such a like homey photograph. Some lady just relaxing in her sun chair. What should the last one be? Oh, I love this one. Okay. This one is like at a party or something, I think. I don't know. This girl looks really happy. I just like this photo. It's just a nice photo. All right, that's four photos a piece for the ephemera bundles. The next thing I want to put in is a card in each bundle. So over here, I've got this anniversary card. Looks like this inside. And it has real little chain on it, which is so cool. And then this other card is much smaller. It was addressed to Pauline, as you can see. It has its own envelope. And this card is so cute. Look at this. Is that not the cutest card ever? So adorable. So there is one card a piece. That brings us to 39 items. And the next thing I have are these souvenir photo scenes from Osable Chasm, New York. Never heard of that place, but I thought this was so cool. It's just a little packet of miniature, whoops, miniature photographs. And they're all of the same place, but they're really cool. I love the black and white. I already took some of these to put in my junk journal, of course, but definitely gonna have to give some to these bundles. How many? Three, maybe? So there's one. Some people in a boat right there. And then that one's really cool. You can see all the layers in the rock. Here's one up a bridge. I like that one too. So there's three there. And here's a really good one of the chasm. 
Oh, this one has people in it. I like that because you can see the fashions of the day. And what else? Oh, here's a nice river photograph. Yeah, I think that'll do. So that's three for that packet. Okay, next I have some old recipes flipped that I want to add in here. I think I'll do three of these as well. So we have one for lemon pudding cake and then brownie pudding. What else? Here's a banana cake. There's a salmon mousse. That sounds interesting. Poppy seed cake. And for our last one, oh, how about butterscotch marble cake? That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Okay, three recipes a piece. We are up to 45 items per bundle. The next thing I have is a bunch of random clippings and stuff from a John Muir magazine, including this beautiful photograph of a waterfall. I also have this view of the Sierra Nevada mountain range. And then, what else? Here's just a clipping of some text. I'm gonna put that in there, I like that font a lot. Some text for this one. Here's a picture of John Muir. And another picture of him with his friend, Theodore Lukens. So there we go, three magazine article pictures for each bundle. Now we're up to 48. Okay, and the last thing I want to put in these bundles is going to be some stamps. So I have these little envelopes to hold them. We're going to put in two stamps each. I have a bunch. I don't even know how to choose. I like that one though, with the colors on it. And then this one's fun. Campfire Girls. And this one has the date on it, so you can tell when it's from. I like things that are dated. Let's see. Here's a cool one. Space theme. And then... Oh, here's a cool one. Thoreau. How about that? Put that in there. Okay. Stamps are done. And get those into their little sleeves. All right, and I do have one more thing. I have this vintage boarding pass from Continental. I don't even know how old this is, but I want to put it in this bundle because I think it will go really well with this pizza page, this tuna pizza. So I'm gonna put that in here with this, but I need to get one more thing to put into this bundle so it's 51 even. So let me go look for a second. Okay, to this bundle, I'm gonna add this really cool Maytime poem and picture from a vintage newspaper, and it has some text on the back as well. So those are my bundles. These are so great. I really wish I could keep all this stuff, but I just can't, and I've already, believe it or not, gone through and taken out everything I think I'll ever want to use and even some extra stuff and I have all this left so I'm going to bundle this up and show it to you when it's all together. All right y'all they are all done I just put some twine around them and a little tag so I know how many pieces are in there they look so good I'm so excited I can't wait for y'all to get your hands on them by the time this video goes live, they should already be up in my shop. I'll probably list some on Etsy and some on my Shopify so everyone can get some. But yeah, that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.
Bye.